Good day, guys. Welcome back to another wonderful session of learning with Prep Class. My name is Tutor Lalikon Isgo, your Prep Class English Tutor, and I am super excited to have you join me in today's session of learning. In today's session, we will continue to answer questions from the Jam English 2012 past questions. Remember, the purpose of this session is to help you prepare for your forthcoming Jam examination. So, without wasting much time, take a moment to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the post notification so you can be notified whenever we upload any new content. Alright, let's begin. Now, in this video, we will continue from where we stopped in the last video. In the last video, we answered questions 26 to 30. So, in this video, we will continue to answer questions 31 to 35. So, the instruction reads In each of the questions 31 to 35, because we have answered questions 26 to 30 in the previous video. So, in each of the following questions, 31 to 35, select the option that best explains the information conveyed in the sentence. Alright, let's begin. Question 31. He needed not to have played in the position of quarterback in the volleyball. He needed not to have played in the position of quarterback in the volleyball. Option A. He participated in the game in his unusual position. Option B. Nobody expected him to have participated in the game. Option C. He wanted to play in a position other than the one he was offered. Option D. Someone did not want him to play in the position that he played. So which of these explains best the information conveyed in this sentence? The answer to this question is option A. He participated in the game in his unusual position. He needed not to have played in the position of quarterback in the volleyball. This means that he did not have to have played in the position he played in, which was quarterback. He did not have to have played in the position where he played there. He played in a wrong position. Although he did not have to have played in the quarterback position, he needed not to have played in the position of quarterback in the volleyball. That means he played in a wrong position. He did not have to have played in that position. He played in a wrong position. So the answer is... He participated in the game in his unusual position. The quarterback is not his usual position, but he played there. Although somebody is saying he needed not to have played in the position of the quarterback, he shouldn't have played there, but he participated in the game in the quarterback position, which is his unusual position. Moving on, question 32. I wouldn't have responded to his rude talk if I were you. I wouldn't have responded to his rude talk if I were you. Which of these options explains best the information conveyed in this sentence? Option A. The advice was taken by the respondent, so he did not respond to the talk. Option B. The advisor put himself in the respondent's position, so he did not respond to the talk. Option C. The respondent replied to the speaker's talk, although he ought not to have done so. Option D. What was advisable was that the respondent gave it back to the speaker. I wouldn't have responded to his rude talk if I were you. What does this mean? This sentence implies that the person spoken to already, already responded. The person spoken to already responded, but they shouldn't have as the speaker advised. I'm telling my friend that if I were you, I wouldn't have responded to his rude talk. That means what you already responded. But I'm just, I, I'm just telling you that if I were to be in your shoes, I wouldn't have responded. Although you have responded, but if I were you, I wouldn't have responded. It would have been advisable for you not to respond, but you already responded. So the answer is option C. The respondent replied to the speaker's talk, although he ought not to have done so. It, um, the respondent replied to the person's rude talk, although he ought not to have done so. He should not have responded, but he responded to the rude talk. But I am saying if I were to be in their shoes, I wouldn't have responded, although this person has responded already. So the respondent replied to the speaker's talk, although he ought not to have done so. Moving on, question 33. He could not speak out because he had a fit of clay. He could not speak out because he had a fit of clay. Option A. His feet was muddy. Option B. He was weak and cowardly. Option C. He was clumsy and lazy. Option D. He was shy and timid. Which of these options explains best the information conveyed in this sentence? He could not speak out because he had a fit of clay. Now, 
What does it mean to have a feet of clay? Feet of clay is an expression now commonly used to refer to a weakness that is a disadvantage, fault, or defect. Feet of clay is an expression now commonly used to refer to a weakness or character flaw, especially in people of prominence. This weakness or character flaw makes them shy and timid. They could not speak out because he had a feet of clay. He had a weakness or a character flaw that makes him or her shy and timid. So to be shy and timid means to lack courage and self-confidence. He could not speak out because he had a fit of clay. He had a weakness. He had a disadvantage, a fault, a defect, or a character flaw that would not allow him to speak out. Because of this character flaw and weakness, these people are shy and timid. So the answer is option D. He could not speak out because he had a fit of clay. He was shy and timid. Right, moving on, question 34. The player wasted a golden opportunity during the penalty shootout. The player wasted a golden opportunity during the penalty shootout. Option A. The player first hit the bar. Option B. The player did not score the shot. Option C. The player scored the shot that made them win the gold cup. Option D. Instead of the silver cup, they received the golden one. So which of these options explains best the information conveyed in this sentence? Now, in soccer, penalty shootouts are regarded as golden opportunities to win a match. In soccer, penalty shootouts are regarded as golden opportunities to win a match, competition, league, or trophy. So when a player refuses to score his or her shot, they have wasted a golden opportunity. So the answer is option B. The player did not score the shot. If he had scored the shot, he would have taken what the golden opportunity to win the match for his team. So the player wasted the golden opportunity during the penalty shootout means that the player did not score the shot. Alright, moving on, question 35. As far as Abu is concerned, Mero should be given 15 naira at the most. Option A. All Abu is saying is that Mero probably deserves more than 15 naira and not less. Option B. All Abu is concerned with is that Mero should be given nothing more than 15 naira. Option C. In Abu's estimation, Mero merits not more than 15 Nera. Option D. In Abu's opinion, Mero deserves 15 Nera or probably more. Which of these options explains best the information conveyed in this sentence? Now, in Abu's view and opinion, Mero should not be given more than 15 Nera as that's what she deserves or merits. When you say, as far as I'm concerned, you are using it to indicate your opinion. As far as I'm concerned, means what to indicate is that you are giving your own opinion. At most, means not more than. So as far as Abu is concerned, in Abu's opinion and estimation, Mero should not be given more than 15 naira. That is, she does not merit more than 15 naira. So the answer is option C. In Abu's estimation, Mero merits not more than 15 naira. Mero should be given 15 naira at the most. In Abu's estimation, in Abu's opinion. Mero merits not more than 15 Nera. Alright, and with that we've come to the end of this wonderful session. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button. Do not forget to drop your questions in the comment section. Also, share this content with your friends and loved ones. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day.